15-year-old Christopher Miner has battled mental illness since he was a young boy. Originally diagnosed with ADHD when he was just three years old, he continued to struggle at home and in school. His outbursts at times were so violent, his mom says she worried for his own safety and for his younger brothers. Chris was prone to violence. After several evaluations, he was diagnosed ADHD. With ADHD, you know, we knew there had to be something more. In the past, I like kind of was not very happy and good. I didn't really get along with others. A move to Idaho would lead to the medical care Christopher so badly needed. Clearwater Valley Hospital and Clinics in Orofino, Idaho had started an innovative new effort partnering with psychiatrists at St. Alphonsus Regional Medical Center in Boise, nearly 300 miles away. Using a state-of-the-art robot system like this one, Christopher was able to talk weekly with a psychiatrist using a system similar to video conferencing. The psychiatrist was able to not only diagnose Chris with bipolar disorder, but also determined his medication needed changing for him to have better coping skills and to manage his condition properly. The telepsychiatry program allows uh, me as a child psychiatrist to provide uh, services to children in communities that uh, don't have uh, a child and adolescent psychiatrist. The program called Telepsychiatry Improves Outcomes in Frontier Communities allows patients to simply travel to their local doctor's office and once they're there, they're able to interact with the psychiatrist hundreds of miles away. Psychiatrists chart directly into the electronic medical record at the local clinic, ensuring continuity of care. It didn't take Dr. Terry long to realize that Chris suffered from bipolar. Despite the numerous counselors and other doctors Chris had seen, the bipolar was completely looked over, which made a huge difference. The program has dramatically improved the quality of life for hundreds of patients. Studies show participants visit the doctor and hospital only about half as often after they enroll in the program. This translates to saving nearly $300,000 annually due to fewer hospitalizations, fewer primary care visits, and a reduction in use of emergency services. Idaho is a state that's really challenged in terms of access to mental health. The entire state is a mental health shortage, and this was really the prescription to treat that problem. The reproducibility of this program is really quite easy. We have two hospitals and two different clinic systems, but we initially piloted it in one system, and it was very easy to implement it in the other system with equivalent results. School started improving. He actually started making friends. Home life got easier, and he just became more pleasant. He's just a completely different kid. 